welcome to Excite. Javid Ja started working on this project six months ago. That wheel turns and it takes about 20 minutes for this top container to rotate 360 degrees. Coming up through the top here, as you can kind of see, a, there's a projection in the sky. It will look something like this. I want to look back at the, the kind of history of what was thought of as a cosmology, a connection between the human and the cosmos, and use my skills in kind of architecture and art to continue that tradition, that tradition of a holistic view of the universe. In total, there will be 90 art projects by over 300 artists at this year's Nui Blanche, which runs from sunset Saturday to sunrise Sunday. My name is Javid. I'm an artist exploring the world of cosmology. I work with some like-minded people to design shipping container buildings. We've made a few over the years, but this is the first time trying to make it rotate. Approximately 7,600 pounds of steel rotate on a track made of 50 solid steel balls. That structure rotates to follow the movement of planets as they orbit Toronto. When I reflect on the traditions of our ancestors, they spent a lot of time contemplating the signs in our skies. A few of them told us that they imagined the universe actually lives inside of us. In the Vedic tradition, these inner orbits were known as chakras. Excite is a project that attempts to bring this idea to life, as if just by observing a planet revolve around us, we could experience this corresponding rotation within. What if the planets were like the seven chakras along our spine, moving from our base to our crown like the seven colors of the rainbow, each taking the form of the platonic solids, once believed to be the building blocks of our universe? Saturn could be my root, the foundation of my spinal cord, stable red earth, solid as a cube. Jupiter could be my sacral, flowing like water, bursting with creativity, a bright orange. Could Mars be my belly button? my solar plexus, the fire of my willpower and ego? Surely my heart is like Venus, where I find love and beauty. It's balancing green like a breath of fresh air. Wouldn't my throat be Mercury, a surreal aqua, where my thoughts take form and expression becomes voice, the master of communication? My third eye could be the moon, reflecting the light of the universe, invoking the unseen in its shadows. Finally, on my head would sit a crown, radiating like the sun, illuminating a path to my origin. regime of astronomy continues to undermine our spiritual connection to the universe, there's still one arena that even science must concede, and that is the sound of an orbit. For example, what you are hearing right now is based on the harmonics of celestial movement. When a planet orbits the Earth, it emits a radio frequency measured in hertz. These frequencies are approximately 37 octaves below the audible range of a human ear. But if we bump them up to our audible spectrum, they follow the harmonics of a keyboard. What you are experiencing at Excite are the vibrations generated when we observe planetary movement, represented in light and sound. 